Should jumping breaking bumps be something everyone should be practicing? And is, is it easier for lighter guys? Yeah, br jumping breaking bumps should be something everybody practices because there is a time and a place where when those breaking bumps get big enough, it makes more sense to jump them. To get off the brakes completely, to maybe slow down before, and then just little ruh, 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 double, 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 triple, 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 double, double, triple, double, single. Doesn't matter. Get creative, get off the brakes, keep the bike light, and float through them. Best to practice that in a situation where you have maybe more of a sweeping turn afterwards. So you're not trying to do that while going into like a tight 180 that you need to get slowed down for. But once you get good at it in a big open space, you can apply it to more technical and difficult, tighter situations. Um, and what you'll realize, I think, is that at class, I teach people how to brake because it's a good fundamental skill. You need to learn how to get the bike to stop. But most people, I think what you'll find is that you might not need the brakes as much as you think that you did. A good example would be Tomahawk. When I ride a Tomahawk, I only use the brakes in two of the turns. Every other turn, I just float into. <laughs> and that's at the speed I'm carrying down the straightaway. So if I'm only using the brakes in two of the turns, it doesn't mean that I'm comfortable going through the turn a million miles an hour. It means that it just, you just carry the flow. So it should be easier for you guys to carry that flow, get off the brakes, float through the bumps, that kind of thing. Um, it is, is it easier for the lighter guys? I think anything would be easier for the lighter guys. If you're comparing somebody that's 170 pounds to somebody that's 250 pounds, I think most everything is gonna be easier for the 170 pounder, but not impossible for the heavier guys. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, you can do so on Spotify and Apple Music. If you want to send in your own video submission, you can join us in the Moto Academy family inside of the Moto Academy app by just going to themotoacademy.com. That's also where you can sign up for a class. Okay, guys. See you next episode.